There are several species of tarantulas that live in Arizona. They spend much of their life in a hole in the ground, waiting for an unsuspecting insect to walk through their fine webbing near the hole. Some people think they look scary, but they rarely bite a person, and if they do, it is no worse than a mild bee sting. There are also several species of tarantula hawks that are actually wasps that live in southern Arizona. The adults feed on nectar, pollen, and other plant material, but their larvae feed on paralyzed tarantulas, so the adults are mortal enemies of tarantulas. The first thing an adult female tarantula hawk has to do is find a tarantula, then maneuver around it to sting it. It can be a male or female tarantula. At first this looks like it might be just as dangerous for the wasp as for the tarantula, but it is quite rare for a tarantula to get away. The wasp is very fast and has a hard exoskeleton, so it is not easy for the tarantula to puncture it. The wasp has to get underneath the spider to sting it between where the legs join the body and the spider's hard belly plate. It is a soft spot and where the nerves that control the legs are located. It seems like the tarantula should put up more of a fight or resistance. Its normal method of hunting is to pounce on a soft-bodied insect. Most of their predators are larger, such as lizards, snakes, birds, foxes, and coyotes. With the larger predators, there is no opportunity to fight back. It is still a mystery why the tarantula does not put up more of a fight. They have poor vision and operate mostly by odor and feeling. The fine hairs in the legs pick up vibrations of nearby animals. It is known that tarantula hawks exude an odor when excited. There is some speculation that the odor may have a calming effect on the tarantula, or maybe the rapid dancing around the spider may confuse it. No matter how many times I watch this, it puts me on edge, worried for the tarantula. I find myself rooting for it and encouraging it to fight back. The wasp is really trying to find that soft spot. The tarantula hawks rarely suffer from predation. Being among the largest wasps in the world, their size and colors deter almost all predators. From what I have been able to learn, roadrunners are pretty much the only animal that is willing to tackle them, and even they do not take many. Once stung, the tarantula is paralyzed within two seconds. The tarantula hawk sting is considered to be one of the most painful stings in the world. Although it is extremely painful, it does not cause any paralysis or other damage in humans or other mammals. 
and they are not aggressive at all towards humans. They only sting in self-defense if they are seriously threatened. You can be around them comfortably as long as you don't try to catch them. The only three instances of human stings that I have heard of were all of researchers catching and handling a female. The males don't have stingers. Once the tarantula is paralyzed, the wasp will prepare the hole. It can be the hole that the tarantula was living in or one dug by the wasp. It looked like it wanted to be real sure that no one else had moved into that hole. This wasp spent more than 20 minutes in the hole before it came out to retrieve the tarantula. The wasp was lucky this time that the tarantula was very close to the hole. Sometimes they have to drag it a long distance. Looks like it thought that the entrance wasn't quite large enough. They will catch 6 to 15 tarantulas during their approximately 3 months of lifetime. Then it drags the spider down into the hole and deposits a single egg on the spider's abdomen. The egg hatches in a few days and the larvae burrows into the spider and starts eating on the paralyzed but still living spider. It avoids eating the vital organs until last so the tarantula does not die too soon. In three to four weeks the larvae spins a cocoon and changes into a pupa, similar to a butterfly cycle. The wasp lay in the hole for over half an hour after it dragged the tarantula in. During that time, this velvet ant, which is not an ant, but a wingless female wasp, showed up. It also has a very powerful sting, and like the tarantula hawk, it has an interesting reproductive method. It lays its eggs in the pupa of other wasps. I was surprised to see it enter the hole while the large wasp was still in there. I learned later that they have such a hard exoskeleton that the large wasp would not be able to sting it. And since the tarantula wasp was in the process of laying an egg, there would not yet be a pupa for the velvet ant to lay an egg on. It would have been interesting to leave a camera on the hole for several weeks to see if the velvet ant returned to lay an egg on the new pupa of the tarantula hawk. But this all occurred in a public park where I could not leave a camera.